This is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Thai no-sew fleece blanket. Fleece is great because it doesn't fray and you can um, make this cute little fringe on the end just by tying knots and you can make a fun blanket without any sewing. To make this no-sew blanket you'll need two coordinating colors of fleece. The amount you need will depend on what size blanket you want. For a baby blanket, I recommend one yard of each color. For a child size blanket, a yard and a half. And for an adult blanket, two yards of each color. You'll also need a ruler and a pair of sharp scissors. Start by trimming off any selvage edges. That's the edges with the little dots right here along the end and if you get lucky enough you can actually just use the dots as a guide and use a pair of scissors or you can even just use a rotary cutter. Make sure that both of your pieces of fabric are the same size, length and width. You also want to make sure that when you're cutting out the length and width of your blanket that you're only left with whole numbers at the end. You don't want any halves of inches because that's going to mess you up when you go to do your fringe. And then go ahead and lay your fabric out with wrong sides together which means that the prettier brighter sides of the fabric will be on the outside and the uglier sides will be on the inside. Once you have your blanket laid out nice and flat, take your ruler and you want to measure five inches up from each side and we're going to cut a square out of the corners. So I just like to make a snip at five inches on that side and then turn my ruler and make another snip at five inches on this side and then cut all the way up until the two sides meet. And then go ahead and remove that square. Continue cutting a five by five inch square out of each of the other three corners of the blanket. So all four corners will have a square cut out. Once you have each of the four corners cut out, you can take a large yardstick and you can line it up from one corner all the way to the other end to sh give you a straight line of where you're going to be making your cuts. Another option if you don't have a yardstick is to just take a piece of masking tape or washi tape and you can lay down the line all the way across from this cut end over here you can see all the way to the other cut end. But I like to use my yardstick so I can see the inches and see where I need to make my cuts. So what we're going to be doing, this is, should be 5 inches and that's why I have this ruler here. This is also another option. We're going to be cutting 5 inches into the fabric every 1 inch. So we're going to be making a 1 by 5 inch fringe all along the edge of the blanket. Continue cutting all the way around the entire edge of the blanket until you have this one by five inch fringe on all of the four sides. Starting on one side of your blanket, you're gonna lift up both pieces of your fringe together and kind of put your finger underneath and kind of come up and over. Make a loop. And then push the two pieces of fabric through to make your knot and push up on the knot here to get it so that it's all the way up near the, the base of the fabric. So again, I just put my finger underneath to make a loop. Make sure these two pieces stay together and shove the corner of it in there and grab it through the other end. Pull that down and push the knot up and just make sure it's nice and secure. And then just continue tying knots around the entire blanket until you've tied all of the fringe together. Um, you can see the, the knots are really tidy on the front and then on the back it's got some of the fabric from the front on the back and I really like that contrast that that, that gives. There's different ways to tie the knots but this is my favorite knot tying method. I also have a braiding method that you can use and I'll link to that video in the comments. 
So that's how you'd make a fleece blanket with a tied knot edge and um, you should be able to throw that in the wash now and none of it will fray and it will stay nice. My kids each have one of these knot blankets and they love them. They're nice and snuggly. Head over to my blog cutesycrafts.com for more fun craft ideas and subscribe to my channel to see more craft videos.